Look, it's a hard, it's a, it's a heartbreaking situation, um, Stephen. I mean, it, 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 I, I am still involved in it. Um, I have an office um, out in the Middle East, and we still work um, on this issue. You know, it's unless you deal with the underlying problems, then I'm afraid every so often you are going to get these conflicts that are horrific in their consequence for ordinary people. And, you know, you, the international community can say whatever it wants to say about de-escalation and stopping the conflict. The truth is it will continue for a time at least. Um, but afterwards, the single most important thing is that we get a viable, clear process for resolving the underlying problems of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. And at that, at that point, we've got a chance then of avoiding future conflicts. But whilst the situation remains as it is, this, I'm afraid, periodically is what you get. And it is absolutely heartbreaking, um, but it will now continue for some time, I think, until, as it were, you know, the conditions are right for a, a ceasefire, but that is only a ceasefire. And what we need is to tackle those underlying problems. I mean, I mean, it, it's difficult, I know. I mean, there's a lot of international concern, I guess, about engaging Hamas in, in negotiation. Um, is that something we should be looking at more actively? Well, I, I have had um, interactions with Hamas myself. Um, look, Hamas as an organisation at the moment are constituted in a way that does represent a direct threat to, to Israel. Um, if rockets are coming out of Gaza, the Israelis will retaliate. That is just a, the fact of the matter, because their civilian population is under attack. Um, the retaliation is then hard, and that means also there is loss of life in Gaza. So it's the problem is that you need a completely different approach to this conflict. Now, the thing that I've worked on the last few years and continue to work on is that my belief is you're only going to get a solution when it is a region-wide Arab-Israeli solution and not simply an Israeli-Palestinian solution. So, you know, we can I could go into all the detail of that, but there won't be time. But the, the truth of the matter is, if we don't deal with these fundamental problems, including the nature of the threat Israel faces, including the situation of the Palestinian people as it presently is, the divisions, by the way, in Palestinian politics, which are also a huge problem, unless you deal with these underlying problems, then, you know, the international community can wring its hands and people can look at these pictures and be absolutely appalled and want action to be taken. But the truth is there will be no solution to this unless we get down to the fundamentals.